Hey you lot, so today's video is a bit all over the place, I have to apologise. The actual video quality will improve in a little bit. I had some issues with lighting and focus and camera setup. Um, it was just one of those days. Oh, and then I ended up pretty much starting from scratch anyway, but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. So, what you're seeing now is a little thumbnail kind of sketch. Basically, today we're looking at drawing and painting a scene, so backgrounds and characters, um, the kind of practice that would be useful if you're going to illustrate a graphic novel or work on storyboards, or you just want to create more standalone paintings and things with more depth and more story to them. So I would definitely recommend trying this out. I actually use film screenshots as a reference. Um, you get to know a lot about perspective and architecture and also just effective composition and framing for a scene. Um, the film that I was looking at is Inferno, it's one of the Da Vinci Code series. Um, I actually haven't seen the film but I'm reading the book at the moment and I will leave links below of places that I go to find good screen caps. But yeah, I really liked the little sketch but I wanted to challenge myself a little bit more by incorporating paint and colour into the second larger scene. There was a really nice cool hue to the shot that I wanted to get across but the issue that I ran into was that I was going for quite a simple, minimal paint style that I'm just not that good at. And in my attempts to make it loose and keep it basic, you know, just suggest the existence of things rather than spelling out everything in detail, it just kind of ended up looking, I don't know, um, like quite childish. So I'm looking forward to putting a bit more time and practice into painting in that style effectively. But for the time being, I wasn't happy at this point. My filming setup situation had been really clumsy and difficult to set up. Um, I was also just tired and a bit disappointed and I don't know, I kind of make rash decisions when I'm feeling like that so I ended up just taking scissors to the page and cutting out the bit that I liked. In hindsight I might not have done that, um, I might have just found another way around it or maybe just kept working on the failed attempt to see if I could salvage it. But yeah, in this instance I just had enough, I'm quite run down at the moment and that tends to make me a bit emotional so anyway after all that I actually had a break I think I went to watch TV and then I painted another page in my sketchbook which I guess will be tomorrow's video if I can edit it quickly enough but yeah then I came back set up my lights so hopefully the picture isn't so grainy anymore and then I tried again okay so for round two I still wanted it quite loose and simple. I did a bit more sort of building up of the painting, adding layers as I went, which I do think helped. Um, another thing that helped is I actually spent maybe half an hour, 45 minutes, just watching people paint. Um, I watched a real-time video of a guy painting a seaside scene in watercolour. I think his name was Will... Will something... Tim. <laughs> Tim Wilmot. Close enough. Uh, I'll write it down in the description anyway, but yeah. Not only was it just really calming to have a cup of coffee and watch him paint, I sort of reminded myself of some painting techniques and learned a couple of things that inspired me to get back to my painting and maybe try and implement the new things that I've learned in some way. And this piece didn't turn out anywhere near where I'd hoped it would, but it's kind of driven me to put more practice into this. I mean, it's not something I... I don't think I've ever really painted a scene like this before, so yeah, it's something to work on and I'm also just happy with myself for getting back on with it after giving up. Um, so I've been getting a lot of questions about the sketchbook I'm using for this series. I always have the tools I use in each specific video listed in the video description, but yeah, this is just a regular moleskin sketchbook. I've been really surprised with it actually because the last moleskin sketchbook I had, which was the same design as this one, same name and everything, was nowhere near this good. I think they must have done some improvements on their paper quality. It's a lot better for paint and things. Um, I had a tiny bit of like bobbling under the water for this painting, but I did use an awful lot of water, so I can't really complain. But yeah, if that's something you were wondering, now you know. Really haven't got much else to say today, I feel like I've covered everything. Um, at the end I stuck on the original little sketch, um, that turned out to be my favourite part of the whole thing. But I guess what I would like you to take away from this is... A, it's okay not to be satisfied with your work, you just have to take that as a prompt to improve on something, and B, never underestimate the power of taking a step back and having a rest and coming back with a clearer mind. I'm still quite tense, quite anxious, a little bit aggy, um, that's just how I'm feeling at the moment in life in general, but I'm going to be patient with myself and keep trying, but also know when to give myself a break. 
All right, thank you all for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed today's video, more for the idea of it than the actual piece. Oh, and if you can think of any films with some great paintable scenes, leave them below for us all to check out and practice. All right, all the best guys, bye.